Hello, hello, hello. It's Louise here again. This is video four in my acknowledgement of country um, series, video series that I'm doing. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we are going to be talking about who can give an acknowledgement of country. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Louise O'Reilly. I am an inclusion and diversity coach, consultant and course creator. So I wanted to share a little bit about acknowledgement of country. I am an Aboriginal woman. I'm a Warua Noongar woman. Um, and I just love sharing how people can show respect to other people and other cultures. Um, so let's get into today's um, topic, which is who can give an acknowledgement of country. So if you are watching this, you can give an acknowledgement of country. Every single person can give an acknowledgement of country. It is a statement of showing respect to the custodians of the place on which you are on. And there is no limits to who can do that. So uh, it's especially good if uh, you are hosting meetings or in any way you have any kind of formal gatherings and you are leading those particular things. It is a wonderful thing to do an acknowledgement of country and you can certainly do that. You can be a leader in those spaces and even if it's not something that has been done in those spaces, that is certainly something that you can 